writes, you know, be it big, big opera, oratorio, or, or a small, smaller scale piece like Aces, he always delves into the characters, into the personalities, and brings everything he can out of us all. <laughs> I would call Aces and Galatea a, a sort of a chamber opera. It's, it's more like a mask. Aces and Galatea comes from uh, Handel's sort of early period in England. He was in the employment of James Bridges, the Earl of Carnarvon at the time, uh, very early 1700s. Uh, Aces was, was written in 1718. It's just a, a simple tale of love. Galatea and Aces in love with each other, but along comes the ugly monster Polyphemus to run riot. Sadly, he kills Aces, but as with all things, and in Baroque times, it all ends happily ever after, and, uh, and Aces is made a god. But it's full of divine music. And when Handel first performed it, he performed it with a very small number of people. That's all he had available. It was just five singers and a group of two violins, two cellos. There's no 16-foot bass. Uh, two recorders doubling with oboes and a small continuous section. So it, it's just perfect for us to do. I think the nicest thing about um, doing a project like this is that, that everyone's a soloist. It's, there's no sense of an, an orchestra backing some, some vocalists, and we're all soloists. It's all one, one to a part writing, and every, every part is as important as every other part. It's very uh, unforgiving, potentially, to have such small forces um, playing a, a work like this, but what you get as a payoff for that is the chance for everyone's individual voices to be heard. And when we have uh, the atmosphere that, that Harry is able to create for a recording like this, which is collegial and enabling, um, and we also have the time it necessary to develop ideas together, um, what comes out is something uh, I think is really quite special. I think Handel's uh, given singers an absolute gift with Aces and Galatea. He's he's uh, written so much characterisation into the into the music. You know, when, whenever you start to look at an aria or a trio or an, or an ensemble, all the characterisations in there already. We have a marvellous trio of, with Aces and Galatea um, being wonderfully lovely with each other, and then Polyphemus appears, and he's getting more and more furious and more rage, and he ends by saying, die, you've got to die, Aces. And it's a most dramatic little trio, handled at his best. To hear them having a chance to, to uh, express their, their sort of acting chops and, and let fly with something secular like this um, has been an absolute joy. The mountain the body shakes. The mountain the body shakes. The it's been wonderful for us as a group, for five solos of the 16, to really show their virtuosic qualities uh, and an orchestra as well, to, you know, one to a part. It, it's been brilliant. And I think, you know, this, this shows the depth of the 16 and, and makes this recording very special. The mountain giant, the